What's up guys, Mudar True Good Development, coming at you with the dirt and the sweat and everything in between. I'm building a culvert using 55 gallon steel barrels. Can it be done? We're gonna find out. There's a couple of different steps to it. Number one, we gotta take the lids off of the barrels. Uh, so I'm using a grinder and a sawzall. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get that done. Then we're gonna find out if we can weld these barrels together using an arc welder. That's an electric welder. So not a high grade welder. Honestly, I got a cheapie. And we're gonna see if that works. If that works, it's a slam dunk. The final step will be to paint those barrels and galvanize paint to resist corrosion and rust for years to come. So stick around. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, guys, so this is my setup. Love working outside. I don't have to worry about keeping everything clean. So it's kind of a mess right now. I have this big giant project. Um, you know, that's, that's for another day. But anyways, these are the barrels. I got that one done, that one done. We got two more to go. I'm throwing these bad boys right in here. As you can see, I have some erosion going on. So I'm gonna throw all this dirt back uh, there and that will create a nice uh, sort of bridge to go uh, from here to there but anyways let's get right to it so far what's working for me is a combination of the grinder and the sawzall the grinder is scoring the cut and then the sawzall goes through it like butter make sure you get your safety stuff on you got gloves earmuffs uh, if you have glasses you should put them on um, as well and here we go All right guys, so now that I got everything scored, I'm gonna make a cutout here so I can get my Sawzall in there. That should be enough right there. Obviously, as you can see, you can go ahead and cut the whole thing with this. I just find it easier and quicker to do it with the Sawzall. Now remember, when you're using this grinder, make sure you're using the right wheel. This is a metal cutting wheel. For your sawzall, you also want to make sure you're using a metal saw. Also, make sure your cleat makes contact with the material so your saw is not all over the place. You're seeing some smoke come out. These are oil barrels. They're empty, uh, but this is not enough heat to cause the oil to burn or anything like that. Next step, we're gonna clean, grind this out so it's ready for welding. And we're gonna see if we can weld them together. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clean uh, these out using a grinding wheel so make sure you switch that on your blade before you go ahead and get started okay guys I'm all finished with cleaning the edges of these barrels where I'm gonna mount them together and weld them all right guys so I got both barrels lined up and this is where I'm gonna be welding so it's nice and clean I'm using this Chicago electric welding it's a flux machine uh, flex welder that uses the uh, flux um, wire um, this one particularly takes 0 0.30 to 0 0.35 uh, gauge wire it tells you all about it here um, this was like a buck 50 and uh, I got the uh, helmet to go with it um, so you know cheap stuff just to get some minor work done and I'm honestly I'm just learning this as I go um, you'll read all about it in the manual if you get something like this or similar so take your time to do that this is why this video is taking me two days uh, the first day I wanted to make sure everything uh, was straight and uh, before I go ahead and, and use this machine so I'm just getting to learn how to weld um, you gotta ground uh, the material that you're using so I'm basically doing this here like that and then uh, they all come with um, sort of like a gun with a trigger and a um, nozzle that has if you can see the wire coming out of it they recommend no more than half inch um, so yeah there's a lot of videos on YouTube to kind of 
show you how to weld and that's honestly what I'm using. All right guys, I got my two sections lined up. This was a pain because you really obviously have to have as small of a seam as possible. And I still have some space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, with one hand, I'm gonna try to clamp this together like that as hard as I can and just do a few welds, rotate, do the same thing. And I'll do it in four different spaces so I can have the whole thing um, as close together as possible. And then I'm gonna continue my weld. There it is, all done. This is only my third time welding, I guess. And, uh, you know, it takes time. This video is not to teach you how to weld, just to share my experience. It is about building this culvert and the idea behind it. We're gonna do some painting next. It's gonna look great. All right, guys, paint time. For this, I'm using Rust-Oleum Stops Rust. This is an oil-based paint, protective enamel. Grab this bad boy from Home Depot. It's also available at Lowe's and I'm gonna use a brush to apply it. I went ahead and cleaned everything. I used a, I used a brush and a rag. I got my paint ready. Make sure you mix your paint before you get started. Hey guys, so today I decided to go ahead and dump the barrels into the creek. Uh, it doesn't look too promising with the rain. I didn't have a chance to finish the whole thing last night. So I figured, you know, I'll let it rain, it will wash. And I'll wipe everything nice and dry and then I'll finish painting the whole thing up top before I go ahead and dump the rock and the dirt on top of it. All right guys there it is it's all painted it's ready to go I'm gonna let this paint dry and then uh, start filling in the area around it. Okay guys this is what I have so far so I got those big rocks kind of at the entrance of the culvert I'm gonna continue up here and then I'm gonna pound the dirt uh, down uh, they recommend at least half the uh, diameter size. This is two feet, so I'm going to go at least a foot. I actually need to go about almost two feet here, so I'm going to be well within that. And there you go, guys. I hope you liked the video. A word of caution. This is steel uh, drums. These are steel drums, so they will... Uh, possibly corrode again I did paint mine I did not paint the interior so again this video is just to give you an idea of how to do this if you decide to do it from steel drums they do have corrugated pipes they're a lot more expensive uh, that's the reason why I did this uh, but I'm comfortable with it so I'll just give you that uh, word of advice there I hope you liked the video guys if you did give me a thumbs up it goes a long way if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so it's the only way to support it I'll see you guys on the next one. Perfect.